In this episode we are going to create a Python virtual environment and install Panda 3D in that virtual environment. So there is actually three ways to install Panda 3D. First, if you go to the panda3d.org, you can click on this uh, link, so get to the SDK and just download an installer for Windows. Probably if you are on Linux or, on, or Mac OS, it will be for your operating system. So this is one way, but when I last tried this, I don't know, maybe one or two years ago, it comes pre-installed with Python, an older version of Python. I think it was Python version 2.7. So that's why I don't want to use this installer because I don't know if uh, they updated uh, to Python 3.6 or 3.7. So the second way is actually use pip, what we are going to use. So pip install panda 3D. You can also specify the version. So equals equals 1.10.6. I'm just going to run the pip install panda 3D after I created the virtual environment. And the third way to install panda is if you scroll down, you will find here the GitHub icon. So click on that and it goes to the pandas GitHub repository. So click on panda 3D and here you can clone or download uh, the source code. So this is a little bit uh, longer process because uh, when, when you download the source code you have to build it for yourself. And here are some instructions how to build it for Windows, also for Linux and also for macOS and also for free BSD. And there is, there is an Android version. So just go to go to their GitHub page and uh, just read through this information because this is very informative and uh, interesting. Uh, the only thing why I suggest to actually download the whole source code here as a download zip because of the samples. You will find many useful samples in this directory and they are all written in Python. So just download these and just try out the demos or the samples. So, okay, so let's get started with the uh, installing here. I created just uh, an empty folder. I named it panda3d-env for virtual environment. As you can see, this is empty. Now I'm going to open here a command window. And in this folder, I'm going to create a Python virtual environment. So python-m vnv and dot, which means the current folder. Okay, wait a few seconds, no, no. so as you can see, it's it finished, it's created this virtual environment. And uh, the next thing is actually go to the scripts folder and run the activate, activate uh, batch file. So from the, from the command uh, window, I'm going to, go to the script and backslash activate activate so now as you can see the panda 3d dash env is activated so the virtual environment is activated you can see it from from the beginning of the line and if you run the pip list command you will see that by default uh, the virtual environment uh, python installs two packages, the pip and the setup tools to, into this virtual environment. But the, also the pip and also the setup tools is outdated. Uh, before we continue, just update these two packages. And here is the command for it, python-m pip install dash dash upgrade pip. So let's just run this command. So python-m pip install 
dash dash upgrade upgrade pip and space setup tools so we are going to upgrade both packages at with one uh, command so python dash m pip install dash dash upgrade pip and the setup tools and uh, it is necessary to update setup tools because later when we are going to take a look how to build standalone executables we are going to use setup tools to actually build those standalone ex uh, executables so okay So now, as you can see, if I run the pip list command, now in this virtual environment I have the latest pip, which is 20.0.2, and also the latest setup tools, which is which is 46.1.3, so their version numbers. And the last thing to install in this virtual environment is Panda itself. So pip install panda 3d install okay i cannot type install install pip install panda 3d so it takes about five to ten or 10, uh, 20 seconds to actually download and install Panda 3D in this virtual environment. And it worth worth to take a look after it installs. So as you can see now, it is installed Panda version 1.10.6. Here it is. So it worth to take a look what does this installed so go to your environment folder and open up the lib folder and here in the site packages you will find panda 3d and it installed all sorts of dll files and here in this folder you have a models and in these models you will find some egg files about the egg files we are going to talk a little bit uh, later in the next in an upcoming video but uh, just for short egg, fi egg files are 3d file formats used by panda and here are some panda 3d tools some ex executable files like the bum to egg which is a converter which can convert bum files to egg files you have also egg to bum which can convert from egg to bum uh, format and egg and bum uh, are 3d file formats used by panda and here are here are also some uh, other like egg to D dxf or egg to maya and maya 2013 egg to obj so some really useful executables are in this folder just open it up when you installed panda and take a look at those okay so now we have everything uh, prepared i'm just going to i'm just going to create here on my desktop an empty folder and in this folder we are going to store the pycharm project and uh, so the python script i'm going to name it panda 3d dash youtube panda 3d dash youtube i'm going to pycharm just close this project and open this is on my desktop and here it is this is wait a second okay i cannot find ah here it is so panda 3d sometimes uh, when you are using pycharm uh, you have to collapse these and then open it up to actually show the newly created folders so now here it is under the desktop panda 3d dash youtube i'm going to create uh, just 
select it and press OK and PyCharm will create an empty project in this folder. And yeah, the next thing will be to actually set up that virtual environment for this PyCharm project. So go to the file, if you are using of course PyCharm, go to the file settings and here select the project Panda YouTube and open this up and select the project interpreter and here click on this cog add an existing environment and just search for that virtual environment you created uh, which is under in the documents dev python environments and here it is panda 3d env in the scripts for the folder just select the script yeah in the scripts folder select the python.exe oh where it is python.exe and then ok and wait so now as you can see this project uses this virtual interpreter virtual uh, this python interpreter which is installed in that uh, virtual environment so it has panda pip and setup tools so apply and okay